Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. Seymour is so glad to be able to be here for chapel time, right? And with, for you to be watching us. So I always ask, what is today? Okay, you might be telling me it's Monday or it's the day the Lord has made, right? So what do we do? We rejoice and be glad in it. It's also the day that Mrs. Seymour gets to ask the Lord to bless you and keep you, to make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace, right? Yes, but let's sing our song. I'll bet we have Bob and Larry here to help us sing our song. <laughs> This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. It's also the day we get to say good morning to Pastor Harry. Good morning, boys and girls. It's so good to be with you again. Even though we're not together, we can be together on the video. And last week was Easter, and we had learned about Easter. And this day I got a story from the Bible that's about a week after Easter about someone who didn't believe Easter, that Jesus was alive. And so I'm going to talk about believing things, and I'm going to ask Miss Seymour to come in here and help me. Okay. Now I've got a bag here. Do you know what's inside the bag? You probably got lots of guesses. Now if I told you I have a ball inside the bag, do you believe me? Some of you probably do because you do. But I'm going to ask Miss Seymour if she can look in there. Is there a ball in oh, there? Oh, yes, there is, Pastor Harry. Well, well, Mrs. Seymour says there's a ball in there. Do you believe her now? Not do you trust Miss Seymour and you believe her because she said it. Now, if I pull the ball out of here with Mickey Mouse on it. Now you can say, yes, I believe because I've seen it. Well, I've got another bag over here. And I'm going to tell Mrs. Seymour, I got something I think she likes. I got chocolate mousse in here. Ooh, yummy. But I'm not going to let her. You believe I got chocolate mousse in here? I don't know if you know what chocolate mousse is. But I'm not going to let her look this time. I'm going to make her stick her hand in there and see if she can tell if it's chocolate mousse or if I'm telling the truth or not. So kind of stick your hand in there and see what you feel. <laughs> no, this is not. You don't think it's chocolate mousse? I don't think it is. Mrs. Seymour doesn't think it's that chocolate is. mousse, but I say it's chocolate mousse. What are you going to believe, me or her? That's what's the trouble sometimes. But if we pull it out of the bag, Chocolate mousse. It's chocolate, it's mousse. chocolate mousse. It's my chocolate mousse stuffed animal. She was thinking of a chocolate mousse you eat. A pudding. Instead, it was my chocolate mousse that still smells like chocolate. And see, that's one of the things about believing. Sometimes we misunderstand what the person was talking about. And so what this story is about is that Jesus, when he rose and was alive, he went and met with all the disciples. They didn't know he was there. They were behind locked doors. But one disciple wasn't there, Thomas. And so all the other disciples went and told Jesus that Jesus was, told Thomas that Jesus was alive. And you know what Thomas said? He said, I don't believe you. Unless I see all his boo-boos from where they hurt him, I won't believe him. And then it was a week later where Thomas was with all the disciples and Jesus appeared again. And Thomas then believed because Jesus showed him the boo-boos on his, his, on his hands and his feet and his side. And you know what Thomas said then? He said, I believe because I've seen. But Jesus said, you're believing because you've seen. But blessed are those who have not seen 
and believe. Because they heard the word from those they believed. Like your teachers, you believe them and Miss Seymour because they're always truthful to you. And so we can trust certain people to tell the truth. And that's what's happened down since Jesus rose from the dead. People have told people have told people. And we know that Jesus is alive because of all this testimony from lots of people, from lots of people sharing it. So that's one thing we can remember, that we can believe Jesus is alive because many other people have believed it down through the ages and put their trust there. So let us pray. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. For all your love. For all your love. We thank you. We thank you. That you're alive. That you're alive. And you make us alive. And you make us alive. So Jesus. So Jesus. Watch over us. Watch over us. And our families. And our families. Bless our mommies and daddies. Bless our mommies and daddies. And our grandparents. And our grandparents. And our brothers and sisters. And our brothers and sisters. And Jesus. And Jesus, so especially watch over, especially watch over our teachers, our teachers, and bless them, and bless them. We pray this, we pray this in your name, in your name. Amen. Amen. You have a wonderful week. All right. Bye bye.